Are you able to see on your screen, Bita? It's still loading. It's still loading. Uh, yes, now I can WhatsApp see. WhatsApp no, web. Wait. And you send me pictures on WhatsApp? Yes, that's right. Sir. Yes, you send me on WhatsApp and uh, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, that is connected. So I'm opening that. Okay. Vernier calipers, this one, I think that we completed that one. Yes. Okay, ring also we completed. And you send me this one today, these pictures, huh? Yes, that's yeah. right. Let me open this one. What is this? Since we have the better reception of the vertical variation and the dependent variable is always a part of y axis and independent variable that we put on x axis. Yes, that's right. For example, oh, yes, so what you want to ask here, Beta, because uh, different type of graphs, huh? Yes, what is it referring to, especially independent, oh. dependent, which is what? Actually, the first one is your straight line graph. Okay, if an object, if an object is in rest position and it starts to move, okay, in a constant acceleration, okay, okay, then the graph of that object or the motion of that object or velocity of that object, that will be in a straight line, okay? Yes. You can... And the general equation of a straight line that is y equals to mx plus c. Okay. Okay. Yeah, give me one second. Yeah, I am here. Yeah, sure. So, beta, if an object that is in rest, are you able to see my moving cursor on your screen? Yes, I can. It's very clear. It's very clear. Wait. So, yes, now I can write on your screen. Peter, suppose that if an object is on rest position, you can see that on C. Okay. Okay. Right. Yes, now I can tell you here and in red in color, yes. So, suppose the object is at rest position at C, okay? Okay. In rest. In rest and then and then it starts to move in a constant acceleration, okay? Okay, constant Al Always remember that your time will be with respect to x axis. Okay? Okay. And always you mean y axis? No, 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 no. Time is y axis. On x axis. Time. Time on x axis. Always. Oh, okay. Okay, yes. It's a time. And velocity or a speed that will be your y axis. Okay? Oh, so time is x-axis, velocity, speed is y-axis. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Velocity, v. 
okay on y axis always so in that condition and uh, uh, the general equation of a straight line that is represented by y equals to mx plus c okay in this one m is your inclination which is also known as slope okay yes slope defined by symbol m fundamentally suppose that with respect to graph you can understand that slope equals to up upon a cross okay okay now you can ask me that what does it mean sir so it means that uh, it means that yes you can understand this way suppose that your object is over here okay and okay it is your one unit one second two second three second or four second five second six second okay and onwards corresponding to this one that it is your five 10, 15, 20, 25, okay, just like that, okay? Yes, that's right. So, slope, you have to consider that up upon a cross. So, up, that means, uh, that will be your, this one, up, that means, that means, yes, up, that is this one okay and across that is your blue one okay so clearly you can understand that across that is four unit okay yes that's right yeah across that is four so you have to write there four and up that is your here is a 20 I think 22 it will be okay 22 okay yeah. roughly roughly 22 okay, okay. and uh, here is your 10 okay so 22 okay. and minus 10 you will get 12 okay 12 by 4 then it will be your 3 okay so 3 is your slope understand yes Oh. And most important thing that what is your C? C is your intercept. Oh, okay, okay. C is your intercept. What do you mean by intercept? Intercept that means where the line intercept. Intercept means where where the line the straight line the straight line cuts either x or y axis okay oh okay so clearly you can see that it is cutting on this line is cutting y axis at 10 okay Yes, that's right. You can see that here 10. I am uh, uh, drawing that by different color. This okay. brown one. Okay. Yes, 10. That's right. In that condition, your equation of line, this equation of line will be y equals to 3x plus 10. Understand? Yes, that's right. Y is equal to 3x plus 10. So in this way that you will be able to understand that the equation of a straight line or a straight line graph. So a straight line graph if you want to suppose that any equation that is given to you, any equation if, if that is given to you, like suppose that y equals to 2x plus 5, okay? Suppose. Okay. So y equals to 2x plus 5 then that means uh, you have to plug in a uh, value of x 1 by 1 and then you will get some uh, some uh, points over there okay okay hold on oh my god what had happened oh yes now so here 
Uh, okay, 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 okay. So with respect to black one, firstly that I have to draw, roughly that I will explain that to you regarding to graph. X on Y axis, it is your X, it is your Y. Okay, and it is your equation of line, okay? So regarding to equation okay. of line, plug in the values of X over there, okay? Firstly, X yes. equals to zero. When you'll plug in X equals to zero, then therefore you'll get Y equals to five, clear? Yes, that's right. So that means that is your zero comma five, that will be your first point or not? Yes, that's right. Yeah. So. Firstly, you have to mention over here, uh, wait, give me a second, uh, graphing of a straight line that I have to explain. So that means firstly, you have to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay? On X axis okay. and here it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 onwards, okay? Okay. So now 0, 0,5, it is your 0, 0, or is in 0, 0,5, that means your first point that will be over here. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, here will be, okay? Clear? One, two. Oh, yes, that's five. right. That's yeah. Now, just take your second point at x equals to 1, okay? Yes. When x equals to 1, then y equals to 7, okay? Okay. x equals to 1, then y equals to 7. So that means next point will be 1 comma 7, okay? So okay. 1 is here and 7 will be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Next point will be here. Okay. Okay. And then now next is your x equals to 2. 2. Therefore, y equals to uh, y equals to 2 to the 4, 5, 4, 9. Okay. Next point is yes. 2 comma 9. Clear? 2 comma 9. Okay, yes, so that's 2 nice. is here. And uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 will be here. Okay? Uh, okay, okay. Okay. So, minimum 3 points that you have to, you have to take. And then, uh, regarding to this one also, if you want to draw the uh, straight line graph, so this type of table that you have to draw there and then here in this way that you have to do that x here y firstly you had plug in that x equals to 0 then you get there y equals to 5 x equals to 1 y equals to 7 x equals to 2 y equals to 9 clear yes and that's then right. you can you can match all these points like this okay yeah so it is your required equation of line that is y equals to 2x plus 5 okay oh uh, i understand this one i understand so it is your basic way to draw a graph of a straight line okay Oh, okay. Yeah, I understand this one. I understand this one. So, so I think we go to the next image. Yes. Do you understand uh, that? The kind of graph we will be dealing with. Uh, the second kind of graph would be a logarithmic graph. So. Wait a second. I'm uh, changing the screens. Give me a second. Yeah, okay, I'm clicking again. Give me a second. Yeah, second. And now you have to move to third picture. Yes, uh, no, no. Well, there's one above. There's one above. The left hand side. 
There's one more picture before that. There's one more picture. Yeah, that one. This is the log logarithmic graph we need to discuss. Oh, yes. Just a little bit. Uh, just a little bit in deep and brief. What is it about? Okay. Yes. Logarithmic graph. Also, that always with a logarithmic graph that will be in the power form. Okay. That okay. suppose that a relation y equals to k x to the power n. Okay. Okay. K x to the power n. So in that way, if you would like to open that, then y equals to Firstly, you can see that k into x n, okay? Okay. Y equals to k into x n. Then you can see that applying log both sides. So log y equals to it is product. So that means log k plus log x to the power n, and then it will be <coughs> log k plus n log x, okay? Okay. Yes, and then. You can plug in the value of k one by one, and then regarding to that, you can plug in, or you can plug in the value of x. Suppose that x equals to zero, then first will be log k. So zero comma log k, that will be your first point. That's why you can see that your object starts from zero comma log k. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, as usual, one by one, you can plug in your values, and then you will get your straight line graph over there. Okay. Yes. Yes. And here, here you can see that your slope will be n. Okay. Your slope uh, will be n. Here log k, log k is your intercept. Okay. Log yes. k that is your intercept because you can see that at this point the graph is cutting y axis. Okay. Yes. Do you understand that, brother? Yes, I understand this one. Great. But what's the difference, generally speaking, compared to log graphs and straight line graphs? Because uh, both of them cut the uh, y-axis. One is point C, one is log K. There, but in yeah. reality, is there any difference, like in calculation, or is it just exactly the same, just different ways yes, of writing? Yes, yes, yes. It's, the, it's the exactly the same. But in previous one, there is a normal graph, and here it is your logarithmic graph. Simple. Oh, so it's basically the same story, right? Yeah, same, same thing, same thing, same way, oh, same process. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, so yeah, in that case, it's fine. So I think we can move on to the next image. I guess. Yes. Now we can move to the next image. I think that. Yeah, this is, is most important because this is the summary of every so. Every yes. Image. So, we have to do all the questions over here. Uh, design questions. Yeah, just uh, just uh, revision the entire. Oh, revision, want... revision of all that. Yeah. Okay, no problem of that one. So, but here one by one, uh, I am explaining to you that what is given there. Okay, someone that you understand clearly. So, first one that uh, unit of unit sign measurement that is your chapter name. Unit, as usual, I explained that to you. That is the type of physical quantity. That is the standard size of that quantity. Okay. Yes. And fundamentally, that there is a standard international system, which we would like to opt that in our general or daily basis life. Okay, meter, okay. kilogram, second, and all the type of okay, common units. Okay, base units okay. are the type of unit having basic physical quantities like meter, kilogram, second. Meter, kilogram, second, ampere, Kelvin, temperature, mole, amount of substance, and candela luminous intensity. Okay, so basically you can yes. understand that there are seven basic units. Okay, and regarding to those basic units, some units are also which are with respect to that basic unit that is known as derived unit. Okay, derived or directly units, yes, you can yes. understand that derived units are those units which would like to come. Into existence with the help of basic unit, okay? Yes, that's right. Yeah, and also there are very large and very small units are also there, okay? Okay. So a very large unit, very small unit. Suppose that few uh, means one or two class before I explain that to you that uh, barn that is a type of very small unit, okay? Ten to the power minus twenty six, okay? Yes. So just like as There, that also those type of units which we generally use to consider order of magnitude. That is the next thing. Order of magnitude that is the type of approximation. Okay, 
in the okay. power form okay in the power of 10 yes order of magnitude okay dimension analysis in dimension analysis all the dimensions that will be with respect to length mass time that means in their standard form okay okay standard form yes yeah you can also understand that like force force uh, if you want to uh, find out force dimension force into few force equals to mass into acceleration wait i can explain that to you hold on give me a second like suppose that for oh wait a second yes suppose that force force dimension you have to find out fundamentally you have to understand that what's the uh, means formula of force force equals to mass into acceleration okay yes that's right mass that will be defined as m into acceleration that means uh, meter per second square that means the length upon time square okay yes so you can write that m into l t minus 2 okay so you can combine this one so it will be m l t minus 2 so it is the dimension of force clear yes yes so basically that what you have to understand over there so that means here every formula okay every dimension that is with respect to the formula which you would like to learn that okay if you learn the formula then it is the best way to understand that and then you can find any of the quantity means uh, any of the dimension okay dimension uh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes and dimension dimension analysis is also a little bit important in uh, just to compare two units okay either yes, and also yes. means uh, what type of question that would like to come with respect to this chapter some uh, sometimes that a uh, type of equation that will be given to you with respect to basic units and then they would like to ask you that either this equation is right or not okay so basically you have to do that you have to compare the left hand side uh, dimension to the right hand side dimension okay Ah, and this is how you know if it's homogeneous or not, right? Yes, yes, yes. In that the way that when you will understand that either that is homogeneous or not. Homogeneity condition is that. That is the basic condition that which would like to allow us to think about that either your left hand dimension is equal to right hand dimension. Okay? Ah, always, okay. always remember suppose that with, okay, I am explaining myself. Suppose that it is Z equals to x plus y okay so regarding okay. to homogeneity okay with respect to homogeneity dimension of z that will also be equals to dimension of x okay okay and dimension of z equals to dimension of y okay dimension for y yes yes so basically what I mean to explain you, I mean to explain that uh, same means uh, same dimension that would like to add or subtract, okay? Same dimension that would like to be add or subtract. How I am saying that the dimension is same. You can see that dimension of Z will be equal to dimension of X and dimension of Z that is also equal to dimension of Y. So, from first and second, you can also understand that dimension of x equals to dimension of y. Okay? That's why I'm yes. saying, and also you are seeing that same dimension that you are adding and subtracting. Okay? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, that makes sense. That makes sense. Understand? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's don't right. believe that's on me. Okay? Don't trust on me. Whatever that is written in your book, that is supreme. Okay? You can also understand that you can see that u equals to x plus y u equals to x minus y why because that they have same dimension that's why that you can add and subtract them okay oh okay okay, okay. <laughs> yes that's right <coughs> yes next that's is, right so the next one is wait, wait, wait. errors i think we need to scroll down uh, eight okay dimensions okay i understand explain that to you 
error measurement and error yes that means actually if any type of instrument that is given to you okay almost each and every instrument which we generally use in our laboratory or that exist in our physical world that contains a type of error always okay Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, because none of the object, none of the machine in the world that is perfect or 100% efficient, okay? Any type of error there will be always, okay? Sometimes okay. that error will be very least so that we can't consider that, okay? That's why okay. we would like to say that that is errorless, okay? Oh, uh, errorless, okay. Errorless. Otherwise, always there will be error and error will be of two types, okay? Positive Future. error, negative error. With respect to uh, one-year calipers, do you remember that I explained that to you when your uh, main scale reading that is on left hand side with respect to one-year scale zero, okay? Then that will be your positive error and when, the, when your main scale uh, zero that will be right hand side of your one-year scale zero, then that will be your negative error, okay? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. So, in that way, that and also that accuracy that is totally based, okay, on its real value, okay. Accuracy that is totally based on its real value. Accuracy you can also understand by its efficiency, beta, okay. Suppose efficiency. that we are using any machine, okay. So, with respect okay. to machine, I mean, means machine that. Uh, Sorry, a little bit ascent problem. That means there are different country students are there. So sometimes that suppose that if I am teaching a uh, uh, means uh, uh, any uh, different country, Australia, Kuwait is UAE. So that means I also have to opt their ascents. Yeah. So okay. So machine. Yeah. Here. So machine, if you are using that, means any type of machine, beta, as I just explained that to you, none of the machine that have the 100% efficiency, okay. So that means there will be a 100% type of error will be there, okay. That's why 100% efficiency means what? 100% accurate or 100% efficiency, that means 100% efficient efficient okay that yes. is work input equals to work output okay work input is equal to work output okay that means oh yeah you can also understand in this way suppose that if five joule of work that you are inputting then regarding to that five joule of work output that you also have to get there okay but it is not possible if you are applying 5 joule of work or 5 joule of energy okay as usually you know that work is the form of energy okay work is the form of energy yes yeah how i can explain that to you or how you, how you would be able to understand that suppose that miss uh, you would like to eat food daily yeah Yes, that's right. So in that condition that uh, when you would like to take your food, then 100% that whatever type of carbohydrate, vitamin, protein, minerals and all that, that would like to be absorbed by your body eternally, okay? Uh, and that okay. would like to store as energy in your body, okay? Uh, okay and okay, then okay, that okay. energy would like to store and also would like to flow into your bloodstream okay yes that's and when that is when that when that energy that will be stored in your body when you would like to do a type of work then you will use that energy clear yes that's, that's why right. i'm saying that work is the form of energy oh <clears throat> uh, yeah you can say that as a result yes ne now next is a measurement that is said to be accurate that if it's close to accurate actual value yeah that's right that's right and next is that the number of significant figure required to express the measurement must be consistent and the accuracy of the measurement yes that's also right significant figures i explained that to you better before i think in 10th grade or uh, okay so if i i am not remembering that either i explained that to you or not but uh, 
basically you have to understand that better let's understand about the significant figure significant figure says that either any value that is given to you if that is given 0 0.0012 okay okay are you able to see clearly on the screen yeah i can see i can see Great. 0 0.0012 yeah so how many significant figure will be here uh, one, two, three, four significant figures. Oh my God, no. There is only two significant figure. Non-zero number, okay? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because after the zero, yes, that's right. Yeah, that's wait a second, beta. Bete, just see here. Here in this situation, you can see that non-zero number, that is your number of significant figures, okay? Oh, now, okay. Just take okay. example of this one. Zero point one zero zero four how many significant figure will be here uh one two three four significant figures. yes now in this condition these zeros will also be counted there okay yes yes four significant figure okay yes next that is zero point zero one one four zero okay now yes there will also be four significant figure why one two three four that means before zero that will not be considered a significant figure but in between and after that will consider as significant figure okay oh okay okay yes that's right that's right now come to the next one so i explain on left hand side what is that is written now come to the right hand side vernier calipers and micrometer screw gauze okay uh, are always used to measure accurately the length of an object yes that's right that but nowadays that we don't use to consider that uh, yeah very accurate uh, object if you want to consider then we sometimes that use under calipers or screw gauze but otherwise that there are some other mean of uh, calculation by which we can do that okay secondly that systematic error uh, yeah different type of errors also that there are four or five types of error that you had studied in your book that will be given to you do you think that i have yes. to explain that to you each one? Oh, no, no, just go for them, yeah that's the type of me sir a theoretical type of systematic error that is a which would like to express in system okay okay that means physical error that can also be understand in that way suppose that if there is an error in a suppose that if there is an error or any type of default in matter okay yeah uh, give me one second please hello yeah give me one second hello Yes? Sir, excuse me, sorry for that, sir. It's not a uh, right time to talk to you, sir. I'm teaching right time. I'm teaching this time, please. I think that you have to, you, yeah, you have to call me at least uh, after one hour, sir. After half an hour. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Hello? Yes, so in that condition, systematic, better systematic error, that means that is the type of system error, okay? Error that system error also would like to be in that condition, what type of mistake with respect to like material, with respect to uh, observation, with respect to means uh, um, physical appearance, okay? Hello? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Are you listening? Yes, yes, yes. I can okay. hear you. I can hear you. Yes, yes. Instantly your voice uh, came slow. That's why that I was asking to you. So that means, uh, what does it mean? Systematic error, that means, means physical quantities due to instrument, okay? Their material, okay? okay? Their material, yes. instrument, zero errors like, okay? And also wrong assumption, okay? wrong assumption suppose that if you would like to uh, if you are reading if there is a scale there if there is a scale okay 
then suppose that there is a point over here okay if okay means if you want to measure okay then you means sometimes that uh, many students used to measure like they are from here in this side give me a second like a little bit slightly away from here okay from here to here okay okay but no it's wrong if you want to measure that its length of that object then you have to see that just perpendicular direction okay okay yes so if you would like to see that a little bit slightly away from its perpendicular position so whatever angular displacement that will be so regarding to that one that will be your systematic error okay or it is your observation error observational error okay uh, or, okay. or you can also say that in a simple way, wrong assumption, okay? Wrong assumption, yes. yes yeah, yes. assumption. Wrong assumption. Secondly, one more important thing that, and uh, systematic error, uh, yeah, and uh, material, systematic error, there will be material error also. Because as I explained that to you, there is a not a type of substance which is 100% efficient. So clearly you can understand that if any object that is not 100% efficient, so it is not possible that material will also be 100% efficient, okay? Yes, there that makes also sense. also type of error there will be 100%. Yes, yes, that's right, that's right. Random error, random error that means uh, which uh, observer or which uh, person would like to uh, do that with respect to any type of measurement, okay? Okay, any yeah, also that you can understand that that is with respect to like parallax type of or change in temperature. Suppose that, um, um wait, wait, hold on. Uh, how can I explain that to you? Okay, wait. Suppose that you are doing any type of means chemical practical, okay? That is thermal okay. sensitive, okay? That okay, is that's th thermal sensitive. So, 100% that what you are reading that and if the temperature that would like to be of 40 degrees centigrade and you had taken a reading, okay? You had taken okay. a reading and suppose that instantly there will be cloudy uh, weather instantly there will be cloudy atmosphere outside so 100 percent temperature would like to decrease okay and again yes. if you would like to take that reading so there will be change over there okay you are doing yes. right practical all the process that is right but what will be the problem problem will be that whatever reading that you had taken before that was at 40 degrees centigrade that but now what you're reading that you are taking that is on 20 or 25 degrees centigrade okay so that is the okay. type of random error okay random error okay yeah. yes oh my god yes that's it that that is given here examples of errors due to the parallax method or the change in temperature during an experiment yeah <laughs> okay Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. That's why that with respect to chemistry that I explained that to you. <laughs> but it's still that we are on physics. So combination of air, but I also explained that to you that combination of air. As I explained that to you before that uh, same dimensional uh, quantities that would like to be added or subtract. Okay. So as well you can see that if the sum of two quantities that can be defined as uh, x plus y and x plus x minus y. Okay. So, yes. their error may be also uh, considered as del u equals to del x plus del y with respect to addition and subtraction both, okay? Oh, uh, okay, okay. And also I explained that to you in your previous class. I think that, uh, did you see your video, whatever, the, I, I had uploaded your class on my channel. Yes, yes, I briefly saw it in my uh, subscriptions list. I saw it briefly, yes. And did you search? Hello? Did you search my channel? Yeah, it's in, it's, it was in my subscription. It was in my subscription. Oh, you subscribed that one. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yes, that's, right. that's great, Bita. Different students whom I will teach that as soon as I will upload any video, so instantly you will receive that in notification. Either, we suppose that like acid, base, salt, and all the type of that will be very, very convenient for you to understand, you know. Yes, that's right. That's yes. Right. So suppose that means... Um, no problem that when you would like to study that and also I would like to explain each and everything whatever that will be in your course regarding to chemistry and also the same topic I will upload that so that each and every time that you would like to go to that video and you can revise that again and again and still if there will be any problem then I'll explain that to you okay in your upcoming classes so 
basically that I explain what I explain that to you in written you can see clearly here that the addition and subtraction of the quantities okay so combination of error that means uh, means uh, fractional error of addition and subtraction that would like to be same as that is del u equals to del x plus del y if the two quantities that you would like to take as x and y okay yes that's right and then product and division that will also be the same type of beta okay so there are maximum error that will also be considered as uh, like suppose that you you are taking that u equals to x x into y and uh, u equals to x by y so clearly you have to understand that in both the conditions that your maximum fraction error that would like to be uh, del u by u equals to del x by x plus del y by del y okay yes that's right that's yeah right. you can see that here are you able to see my moving cursor yes i can see it great so here and here in both the condition that you can see that they are just like a same okay oh okay okay yeah and also the fourth one sorry fifth one that is your power error power error in that condition you can see that condition u equals to consider constant power that is u equals to x to the power p taking log both side you would like to take that then log u upon u equals to p log x okay so in that condition you can also understand that if you would like to take that maximum fractional error then del u by u equals to p del x by x that will be because p is your constant okay oh okay 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 yeah so if that is summary yes 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 so i explained that summary to you and also here oh wait i have to refresh that yes do you understand all that which i explained yes yes i understand all of this great give me one second i am refreshing that beta <coughs> Um, yes, I'm clicking over again. I think next picture is this one. Yeah. Yes, that's next picture. Oh, you just go up the point. Yeah, so here, but I can see that. Uh -huh. I think that, okay, that's great. So general case that better this one I explained that to you in your previous class when I was running dimension analysis. Okay, so u equals to c x to the power p y to the power q upon z to the power r. As I explained that to you that uh, when you will uh, compute that one, uh, in that way that you can understand that uh, up to fractional error that will be c that is your constant. You don't have to uh, uh, analyze that. So u equals to p del x by x plus q del y by y minus r del z by z clear yes, yes. fractional error i am telling you that's why i'm taking negative but when you will take that maximum fractional error then each and everyone that will be positive okay ah uh, yes that's <laughs> right that's right beta if you want to get efficiency okay then yes. each and every class you will see that within one hour your class whatever i am explaining you are seeing whatever we are doing here you will see each and every word in your video okay so anywhere please if you can see how you get if you can see in your free time just okay just make a video and just play it and then try to listen to what i'm explaining that you suppose that real time this time basically this time that you will you are listening to me but at that time when you will play your video then uh, surrounding to you it will also be just like as you are in class okay mm -hmm. yes yes that's right and then whatever problem you are facing that just take a pen and pens pen and copy just write down that one and then you can come in class and then you can ask that to me it is very 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 effective method just i started that between uh, before one month and uh, all the students who gave examination in this month they got 90 plus percent marks with us. yes they yes, told yes. me not of 90 percent 95 percent yeah they told me that sir that is too much effective sir 
yes because that we don't have to wait for you for your class then instantly uh, we have to go to that video and then whatever you are saying that to me what you are explaining that to me that we will be able to repeat that okay and still if there is any problem then in any class in uh, my upcoming class then we will be able to ask that to you okay yes so that's see right. beta that's right. it is your 11th standard huh you are in 9 yes. 11th so basically what i am saying to you you just have to go through all the topics okay and one more important thing you asked me a little bit straight line graph okay so i think that in my i think that i explained that each and everything whatever that is important and convenient to you to understand that but still if you are feeling problem of understanding any type of okay then i explain that i have another online book okay so regarding to that online book i can explain that to you okay yeah that's fine that's fine yeah do you understand this one yeah this one i understand i think we can go to the uh, concept map at the bottom yeah and also beta uh are yaar what is this one oh okay 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 i am explaining this one to you whatever that i explain that to you with respect to different process and different stages fundamentally that they are also explaining all that things to you here so in that way give me a second let me check that one yes so it is the type of uh, give me one second I'm here. I'm back. Yeah. So, no, no, no. I think that uh, my neighbor just came to my place and <laughs> she was talking to my wife very loudly. Yeah. Now I'm here. So. Yes. So, but clearly you can see here that uh, graphical. Oh, wait a second. From where we have to start here? <laughs> wait. Give me a second. Uh. Okay. Okay. No problem. i think unit me dimension measurement uh okay and uh, then from unit dimension and measurement directly you can go to graphical method okay graphical analysis okay graphical analysis that would like to lead you all the type of explanation with respect to graph arjit okay yes yes like any type of equation linear equation quadratic equation cubic equation okay power equation okay indices yes. any type of equation that you would like to go through your i mean sir graph and each and everything that you will be able to understand oh okay 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 secondly oh wait a second <laughs> चार्जर लगा दो मैं अपलोड करूंगा ना क्लास चार्जर लग गया ओ नो नो एक्चुअली आई वाज आस्किंग अबाउट द चार्जर टू माय वाइफ वेट सो बेटा फंडामेंटली ईच एंड एवरीथिंग दैट आई एक्सप्लेन दैट टू हियर यूनिट डायमेंशन एंड मेजरमेंट in that one clearly you can understand that units and dimension i also explain that to you basically that uh, if you want to describe your dimension that basically there are meter yeah m l t okay there are three okay. things by which one that you will be able to explain or you will be express your dimension and each and every dimension uh, regarding and each and every unit there is a fundamental si unit okay standard international unit there are four types of system beta i think that uh, i have to explain that to you first one is yeah. your mks mks system that means meter kilogram second that type of hello yes i can hear you can oh hear yes you. yes so meter kilogram second uh, that is generally uh, that is with respect to like uh, in india in sri lanka and uh, a little bit i think that in uh, australia i mean so all that type of is this area wise and also uh, mks then next one is cgs okay centimeter yes. yeah centimeter gram and second okay cgs yes. system third one is your uh, fps system fourth pound second 
This system is generally opted in Britain. Britishers generally used to uh, measure all these type of uh, measure with the help of all these type of quantities. Okay. And okay. the next one is your SI system. SI system is your standard international system which would like to be opted throughout the world. Okay. Every person. Yes. Yeah. If me suppose that you are in Britain but you don't know about that what will be in pound, how many kilograms that will be in pound. So it doesn't matter of that one. You are in your laboratory. You are in your practical. So simply you can write it in a standard form. Okay. So that means that will be valid throughout the world in all over the world. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, that's okay. why that means suppose that regional, regional type of measurement that is with respect to regional, but not in standard. Okay. Oh uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. So standard, yeah, SI unit. I explained that beta. In SI unit, also there are two types of beta: base unit and derived unit. Base unit, I explained that to you that there are seven type of base units, and regarding to those seven type of base unit, there are also many many of derived units okay oh okay okay and then uh, also beta unit and uh, unit and dimension beta there are uh, two types of fundamentals which you have to understand first one is your standard prefixes A standard prefix that means mono di tri tetra hexa penta all this type of okay prefix Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But a prefix also that by its name that you can just also understand that there is a little bit keywords which would like to include before the words. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Miss, uh, like uh, in uh, chemistry, I can tell you that. Uh, do you learn a little bit about hydrocarbon? Yeah, we did uh, last year hydrocarbons. Oh yes. So I th oh yes, this is a hydrocarbon. So I think that a little bit that uh, oh yes, I also explained that to you. So do you remember that uh, we generally use that meth, eth, probe, but, pent, hex, like all that? Yes. With respect to number of carbon atom, okay, number of carbon atom. So where there is meth, eth, probe, but, these are the type of prefixes, okay? Okay. Yeah. And like uh, and suffix also, I explained that to you. Suffix that means like in, in, ein. Okay, so there were like su suffix. Okay, like uh, suppose that butine. Suppose that if you are writing a name butine, so in butine, but that is having four carbon atom, and y n e ein that is your triple bond. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Ion, that is your triple bond or you can also understand that is unsaturated hydrocarbon okay yeah yes unsaturated hydrocarbon so just like as also there becomes also there is in and uh, next one is in physical quantity they are homogeneous yes they becomes homogeneous okay why because if they will not be homogeneous it is not possible for us to uh, analyze dimensionally why because fundamental dimensional uh, ex concept says that dimension of left hand side that should also be equal to dimension on right hand side. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's right. Understand, Dan? Yes, I understand this. Actually, all of this is pretty much just a revision, so I understand most of it. Yes, yes, yes. That's why that I am also explaining that in a very convenient way, so that there will be no problem. And if you uh, and but. Uh, do you have a book or uh, there are such type of short notes type of or notes uh, you have? Short notes, short notes. Maybe oh. I have to work on past papers. But these are just short notes because I'm going to start the past papers the next week. You don't so, yeah, have any we'll... type of CD, DVD or any type of PDF, no? Uh, no, we just have notes and pa and past papers pretty much. Because I'm not taking an examinations. That's why we are only given short notes and uh, Oh, past so papers. in this year that there will be no examination of your? Uh, no, there will be examinations, but it will not be international examinations. It will yes, yes domestic. international examination will be, uh, yeah, next year. Yes, yes, yes. Both. Yes, yes. That's why, that's why the only thing they're more interested in is instead of giving us, we do have a book, but the book we will start from next week, because they'll start the first chapter from next week. 
So it's a big oh. book on physics, AS and A-level physics, but we we'll start that from next week. This is just a basic introduction into that, that's why. Okay, okay, no problem that, but I, whatever that you would like to ask me. That oh, I'll sir, actually, now I have to, actually, now I have to go for dinner, that's why I oh, think... Oh, no uh, problem, but I, yes, sir, there are only two minutes remaining, two, three minutes. Okay, but almost that all things... That I explain that to you. So here I think yes. that two pictures that are remaining. So I would explain that in your day after tomorrow class. Okay? Yeah, no problem. No problem. Okay, and also your class will also be uploaded that beta on my channel. Okay, anytime that you can see that, and uh, it's a topic that will be same dimension analysis. Okay, or physical quantity. Okay, topic will be dimension analysis within one hour that you would like to see that one. Okay? Sure, sure thing. Sure okay, thing. thanks. Sure thanks a lot, beta. Have a great time and bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night.